shit. This video is powered by As Always Entertainment. If you enjoy this content, consider becoming a patron over on patreon.com forward slash as always for access to the Patreon exclusive podcast, The Kilcon of Clubhouse, early access to the Cinema Room podcast, being a part of polls for future videos, and other early access material. With that said, please enjoy the video. Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another Assassin's Creed video. Now, normally I wouldn't be doing these sorts of news updates and announcements, but two weeks ago I made a video about the 2020 Assassin's Creed game, so I felt compelled to cover this, to talk about this. The fact that the next Assassin's Creed game is coming out in 2012, and has been confirmed by Kotaku's Jason Schreier, that it is codenamed Kingdom, and is a Vikings setting. So, shh, yeah, there we are. There we are. So I wanted to talk about, I mean, I'm, I'm baffled. Honestly, I'm surprised. Like, normally these settings don't surprise me. We're pretty prepared for what's coming. But when Jason Schreier announces a setting for Assassin's Creed, that's the setting for the next Assassin's Creed. It's just how it works. Jason Schreier correctly, accurately reported and revealed Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, Unity, Syndicate, Origins, and Odyssey. When he says it's happening, it's happening. There's no two ways about it. There's a lot of reasons that I'm surprised. One being I thought it was Rome. I really did think it was Rome. I was 100% sure it was Rome in my mind. But we get the reveal from a teaser from The Division 2 where there was a Viking poster that had on the top Valhalla and it had a person holding an apple of Eden on it, which was strange. And people sent me the links to this and I believe Jaw Raptor, he, Jaw Raptor definitely made a video covering this. It says even in Jason Schreier's report, the YouTuber Jaw Raptor saw these posters and made a video of it, saying that a possible tease to the next setting. And when people told me about this and linked to me on Twitter, I was like, yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm sure there will be a Vikings game in the future. And I'd heard rumors that the 2021 game was a Vikings game. That's what Ashraf Ishmael's team is working on. But Sophia was working on the 2020 Rome game. That's what I had an understanding of, so I wasn't, like, taken aback by this poster with holding a piece of Eden. What I'm taken aback by is that now that Jaw Raptor's reported that that's a potential next setting, Jason Schreier has come out and said, no, that's not a potential next setting. That is the next setting, because I've been told by numerous independent sources, and Jason Schreier has his sources. He knows when the next game's coming out. He knows what the next game is, and he says in 2020, Assassin's Creed's back, and it's Vikings. It's codenamed Kingdom. There's no real speculation or discussion to be had, that's that's what we're getting, and I'm very surprised that you'd suspect that Ubisoft Montreal is developing this, so in three years they've gone from finishing Origins to releasing Kingdom, this Viking game that won't be reusing all these assets we're used to, like Origins to Odyssey, so I thought it would make more sense if they'd made that Rome game in 2020 on current gen and next gen, since it'll be releasing 2020 as they both cross over in terms of generations of consoles. You have Sophia making that, and they're using the old assets. So it's not as long of a development cycle, and it's something you can have a shorter development cycle for. But in three years, for next gen, to make a full game in a new setting with new assets, games are harder and harder to make these days. It takes more and more people and more and more time. It doesn't take less time uh, the further we're going with technology. So I'm a bit taken aback by in three years... Probably, it's not in the report, it doesn't say what studio is developing it, but probably Montreal, unless there's some other studio that's been working on this, is making this Ashraf Ishmael's team, which is a surprise. And it says in Jason Trial's report that Ubisoft declined to comment. Now, I wanted to point out that Jason, you know, Jason Trial is a, an actual legit games journalist. And when I say actual legit... There's barely any journalists that exist today that work for all of these big games media companies. They're people that just re-report what smaller YouTube channels like myself do. But Jason Schreier is an actual reporter that writes interesting stories and covers actual news. And when he does stuff like this, he, he does his research. And I know he's probably watched videos like myself or James's or whoever that makes these Assassin's Creed videos on a small scale because he mentions that there were lots of rumors and speculations going around about a Rome setting in 2020. Um, he says, quote, fans had long theorized that the next Assassin's Creed would be set in Rome after an old 4chan post that accurately revealed Assassin's Creed Origins before it was announced. Said it was part of a trilogy including games in Rome and Greece. 
Several recent rumours have given traction to that theory, rumours that are almost certainly incorrect. Vikings and boats and pirate raids are the route Ubisoft is headed in 2020, end quote. So that's it, there's no Rome. There's no Rome in 2020, that's not happening. There's no reasoning assets, there's no Bayek sequel, there's no even Bayek descendant with Bayek elements to it, there's no Cassandra being related to this descendant, there's none of that. At least as far as we know, unless they want to do that in Vikings for some reason. But it sounds like this ancient era of Origins and Odyssey, of doing a game where they have the origins of the Assassins, and they don't really finish completing how the Assassin Order began and got to where it ended up being in the future. They don't follow that up. They then go back in Odyssey another 500 years and have you play as a demigod in a ridiculous fantasy RPG. And that's it. That's this ancient era, is those two games. The reason I held on to Odyssey in such a high standard in terms of story was like there was this possibility to have that follow-up to really finish off what it had started in terms of the origins of the Assassin Order, which it didn't properly finish at all. So if we're moving on to Vikings, if they're not addressing the future of the Assassins in between Origins and Assassin's Creed 1, then Origins' story is kind of, uh to me now. And Odyssey was already piles of shit. And, ugh. This is just, I'm, I don't know what to think. There's no Rome. There's no end to this era. It's just, we got these two independent games that have nothing to do with each other. And that's it. And now we're going to Vikings. I'm not here to argue with it. I'm just here to tell, tell you. That's that's what's happening. When Jason Schreier says it, it's happening. And when Jason Schreier says when, that's when. 2020, and you know, unless things change drastically in the next couple of years in terms of they need more time. End of 2020, I uh, suspect the same as Black Flag released on both current gen and next gen consoles. And it will be Assassin's Creed Kingdom, at least codename Kingdom. I'm sure another name when it comes out and is revealed. And it is a Viking setting. It's a great setting, especially after playing God of War, but I also worry that how do they think they're going to do a Norse setting better than God of War did it? Because they won't, and they have zero chance of doing so. So I guess have my expectations like that could be okay, but, uh, you know, it's a great setting. I'm excited for the setting, no doubt about it. That's that's going to be very interesting. But I'm kind of it kind of makes the last two games kind of mm, to me now. Well, Odyssey was already mm, to me, but I don't really know what they've been trying to set up now with the story, the way it's been going with this lineage of Cassandra to uh, Aya. Is that going to continue? Is there going to be any connection with this Vikings game to the previous? I mean, potentially they could have Rome still involved. It could still be Ancients because it was Vikings that fought against the Roman Empire and crushed them. So there's a potential there for that sort of storyline. Who knows? But then what sort of interesting locations would be had in a Viking region as an assassin? I'm not too sure. So there's there's a lot of questions up in the air and, and a lot that we still don't know. But what we do know is in 2020, Assassin's Creed will be set in a Vikings era. And that's the end of it. What do you guys think? Are you excited for a Viking setting? Are you going to play this next game? And, and what era of Vikings would you like to see it set in? What time period? What sort of stories would you like it to tell? Let me know in the comments below. I'm I'm baffled. I'm blown away. And I was wrong. I was 100% wrong. And here we are. 2020. Assassin's Creed Kingdom. Vikings. I'd just like to thank our Patreon producers for helping support my channel and making this video happen. That is Josh Devlier, King Richard III, Ecraic, and Seth. Thanks for the support, guys.